I was born in Laguna. Uh, it's a couple of hours from Manila. Yeah, I was born in um, Thundersley, which is uh, east end of London, England. Uh, Manila, Philippines. I was born in a place called Gosport in Hampshire, just outside Portsmouth, um, south coast of England. Yeah, in the early days it was uh, Sex Pistols, The Stranglers, Adam and the Ants, The Cure, all the way up to uh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, uh, Snow Patrol, Athlete. Uh, more recent years, I really like uh, Sasha Sloan, Dodie, Tantrix, uh, 21 Pilots. Uh, Zappa, Frank Zappa, Framus, uh, and uh, a lot of old punk bands, uh, Bad Brains, I think one of the best bands in the world. When I was young, I was listening to Michael Jackson, and um, when I got to my teens, I listened to a lot of boy bands too, Led Zeppelin and ACDC and The Doors. That's Probably early on, I, I was listening to, to, to James Jameson, the, the soul, Willie Weeks, the early soul and funk stuff. For me, it was always that, that sort of uh, edgy rock. I used to like edgy rock and anything that had um, a little bit of technicality to it. Zombie by the Cranberries. Uh, Spider-Man by the Ramones? Not at all. <laughs> no, no, not at all. My family is not musical in any way whatsoever. Um, I don't even think my dad can tap his foot in time to music. Nope. My family is not musical at all. My mom can play a little piano. Uh, actually, she can play okay. Uh, other than that, no, no singers, no professional, we're, no professional musicians in my family at all. Mm, uh, probably be a, I don't know, an astronaut. Still doing it. If I wasn't a musician, I, I'm still. I'm, I actually, my, my day job is a filmmaker, uh, as a video, uh, video content maker. And I'm, just, I'm doing it now. So if yeah, I'm, if I wasn't a musician, um, what I'd be doing is exactly what I'm doing now. Uh, I run an international record label and uh, I tour other bands. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much doing my other job right now. Uh, no, I don't get nervous at all. Um, I, I used to very early on, um, and that was always a stiff brandy or something of that nature just before I went on stage. But now I relish, relish going on stage. I have no problem with it whatsoever and have no fear of any audience. Oh, Adele, Dua Lipa. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to sing with a couple of American artists as well. Um, the weekend is, is that would be like yeah. pretty cool. That was very good looking. 
I got started in the music industry was um, I was 12 years old, and uh, I tried to play guitar and it failed. So uh, shortly afterwards, I started hitting things. So I became the drummer. I just let them be. I try not to make mistakes. I really try to prepare a couple of hours before uh, every performance because um, I I really value you know giving you know my best and all of course but I really value good entertainment I I like it when artists um, get up on stage and they're like battle ready like like as if they were like part of the army or whatever um, have you got any tattoos on your penis the one in Kowloon yeah that, that one was pretty that was pretty cool because the vibe was really good man and I, 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 I loved Hong Kong yeah, the one thing I'd change in the music industry for sure is I'd definitely get rid of ticket resellers. Um, so via GoGo, bye-bye. You know, this summer, this past summer, gave me a call and said, Hey man, if you're free, you want to go on tour? I said, I'm free, I want to go on tour. Trap. No question about it at all. Just, you know, traveling the world, meeting exciting people and playing in front of people and seeing the joy and the expressions of, of, of um, ecstasy on people's faces when you play songs great. Whoever it may be. Songs in my spare time, I play a lot of basketball, maybe four or five times a week to keep in shape. Not just for, you know, obviously for health reasons, but I, I, I want to keep in, keep, keep in shape for, for performances, really. Uh, nothing. <laughs> well, Paul is um, the chief songwriter in Hangar 18. Um, I really like like most British bands or British songwriters that I've listened to uh, over the years. I really like how he's very... He puts the melodies first. It's always song-centric with this band. Um, there's not a lot of fluff. Um, I like it that he's very attuned to what he wants to say. And he always has something to say. I like it about him. So, yeah, we, we, we connect on, on, on a lot of levels, really, but that focus on having the song be the center of, of, of everything, really, is, is what connects me to him. I think I'm drawn to just playing guitar, playing as loud as I can, fast as I can. Performing live. Playing it live. Or playing live. Or performing live. Performing live. Playing it live. Or playing live. Or performing live. Performing live. Playing it live. Or playing live. Or performing live. Performing live. Playing live. Playing live. Or performing live. Playing live. Playing live. Performing live. Playing live. Playing live. Performing live. Playing live. Performing live. Playing live. Do you want me to say the question? Repeat the questions. Where do I look? Here. And there always has to be somewhat of a skeleton already made. I, that's the weirdest. You're not gonna ask that, right? Um. Yeah. My trick is if you uh, if you can. I also like to um, sing and dance in front of crowds in fiestas, dancing to Michael Jackson in front of crowds. Yeah. You made, you made me just, you made me go to a buffet which I like all, you know, and now I'm like, I don't know what to eat. That was very good looking.
I don't know. I guess the music, if there is the music, if it's if it's part of that industry, is it, the question is, is real music part of that industry? No, that's a question. The concept of how you can use um, the. I got you, Neil. I'll get that one time or another. I don't know how to answer that. No, I never get. No, I never get nervous before performances. Uh, never have. Which band? This band? You know, I think a lot of chefs spoil the group. You know, a lot of uh, too much cooks spoil the So I think we have to have one main chef, but the rest are assistants. They can also add spice to uh, flavoring to do what you're uh, making, but. You're the chef. If you know that, you're the chef. Be the chef. Uh, it's, that's how it is. It. What was the question again? I said so much. It's good questions. He's um, pretty brilliant, by the way. Pretty good looking, too. <laughs> Did I say a lot? I think I, think I said too much. What advice would you have for people who want to form their own bands and become involved in the music industry? Don't. <laughs> yeah, don't.